On February 26, 2021, the nation's founding father passed on. Prime Minister James Marape, when paying his homage, said that no one single time before or after our independence did one man's death affect Papua New Guineans as overwhelmingly as say Michael's. But then he said no man had lived and dedicated his life quite like the way Sir Michael had done to give wings to his vision during a time of many limitations for the unity of a thousand tribe of peoples into a single nation. And I bless Mare, two years back up long, I think Sunday. Uh, this Sunday, me just like encourage my citizens. Lapun Samara me sleep now, or probably you mean a mama leave me or sleep now. No got time to me you blame him not blah not blah and me cross go come to us. Government stop, me plug a program to help him youths, second chance education, SME, me plus kill him tell him money, logger up low country. our citizens must rise up to be lawful and law abiding. With little say Michael and his band of visionaries there to make the dream of a sovereign Papua New Guinea come to reality. He was the architect of our independence who against prevailing views at the time saw this possible. The Prime Minister says Sir Michael needed important building blocks to be laid down which our constitution speaks of that outcome in very clear terms. He described Sir Michael as a man clearly well ahead of his time. The greatest cry and I talk thank you a lot, Papa Sam Samare, will be your respect of rule of law in our country. Let me one black call and let me uh, important call will I make him the time where he may think him all Papa is asleep, especially at the anniversary of the uh, passing of our great grand chief, the late Sir Michael Thomas Samare. Sir Michael inspired action and fostered and unearthed the collective spirit of those around him to work hard and with a defined purpose, confronting opposing views and commanded respect because of his wisdom and humility. PM Marape says because of Sir Michael's philosophy of dialogue and consensus, his chiefly name of Sana was befitting as it unified thoughts and ideas and relieved the troops for a common purpose. Freddie Moe, TV1 News.